So this video is about using PowerShell and it's about cleaning out the Microsoft Edge browser cache, cookies and history. Not necessarily a straightforward task. It's not as straightforward as I thought it would be. But if we go in here, uh, basically I'm naming these things so that they make sense. So if you were to search for something like, how do I buffer an environment variable? Well, there's a test call that, so you should find this. There's the environmental variable. And then I have tbox start program. That's bad practice, isn't it? What is it? It's actually a task kill. So how about we rename that, okay? So we just go task kill. So if you want to know how to use it and you did a search across your entire repo, you'd actually find this stuff out, right? So task kill killed ms edge dot exe process because it locks all its files. Then we do a PowerShell remove, get rid of the cookies. And then we do a PowerShell remove item history and cache. And then importantly, we do a little verify. We make sure that these things are actually gone. But last but not least, okay, we look at that later. So how do we buffer an environmental variable in Tosca? Well, I'm, I'm creating something called app data buffer. You can call it anything you like. And I'm using triple quotes and I want to get the value for local app data. And if you do a translate value on that, yeah, you don't get anything. Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, but if we go to tools and buffer viewer, we can see app data buffer. It contains local app data. Okay, cool. Close it off. So we close this and we do task kill. So if I right click on set and jump to module, we'll see it's tbox start program. It's so easy to find the module. That's why you don't need to have the module name in your actual test step, okay? We give it give it the path task kill and we're gonna wait for it to exit. Okay. And we're looking for an exit code of zero, meaning zero errors. Now, just for debugging purposes, I also redirected it to temp so I could have a look at what was going on, okay? Now, here's the important bit, the arguments. For task kill, I'm basically saying, look for the following image. Not very helpful pop-up, is it? I wish I knew a way of actually getting help files to work properly on Tosca. So we're looking for the image, Microsoft Edge.exe. Then we're using a filter, and I'm saying image name is equal to MS Edge. So that'll get rid of MS Edge.exe as well as MS Edge Web View 2, anything floating around from MS Edge. And the F is a force, okay? So that's gonna blow away um, Edge. So if we if we start Edge, all right, there it is, okay, reject all. Look at this crap. Some bullshit, right? And it is bullshit. So if we just run that now, down here, you'll see it disappears. Okay. So successfully, it can successfully blow away the file, the processes. If we look here, we can see that we get a bunch of success messages. There's a lot of processes, surprisingly a lot of processes. Now, look, you, you may not want to dump things out like that, but it's in a temp folder, so I don't really care. So we, that's how you kill off Edge. But there's a lot of folders created, okay? There's a lot of folders created. So I'm giving it... Actually, before I go into the PowerShell side of things, this couldn't be done with DOS. There was no way to delete some of these folders using DOS. And then I tried to use it with PowerShell and I was able to make, make a path through PowerShell. So we just do PowerShell and we go give it some arguments, okay? We use remove item path and then we have the app data buffer, okay? So that's like C user Apu, C user Daniel, C user Bob, whatever, okay? And then the rest of it is it's the same on everybody's machine. Microsoft Edge user data and because it's see that little space in there, we need we need to deal with that space. And then it's default network cookies. Now inside that cookies folder is a cookie data, and you can have up to ten thousand files in there. Okay, so I'm saying remove item path blah 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 recursively. 
recurse. It means go down through subdirectories and get rid of all of the stuff below it. Force it. And if there's any errors, such as it doesn't exist because you've already run this little step a hundred times, just silently continue. It's worth noting that if you're going to do a wait for exit and you do like a verify on an error code here, there will be an error because the file didn't exist. So as you can, tr as you can see, I was trying to do the same thing in one step, but it doesn't actually work. So we get rid of this, okay? Never have disabled stuff loitering inside your test steps. Always delete that crap, okay? So that's the command. Remove item, remove that path, get rid of this huge folder called cookies. Wait, wait for exit is true, and then we can redirect it to there, okay? Let's see if there's anything in there. No, it's empty, all right? And I'm giving it five, half a second to run that little piece of code, okay? I'm also specifying a run as. I, I just specify user and I give a password. Uh, you might need to put administrator in here, okay? So it's the same with history. It's just a different folder, you see, here. Again, recurse, force, error action, silently continue. And we can, we redirect to that file, which is empty from the last time. I also have a run as in here with a username and password. And then cache. Again, it's PowerShell, remove item path, blah, 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 cache. Recursively force it, error action, silently continue. And we redirect it to its own file. All right. Eventually, Windows will clean out that temp folder. And then, here's what we're. Here's the thing, right? A lot of these commands will simply run. No problems at all, because you're not checking the error code because you're a bad automator, all right? But it's very likely that some of these commands will actually run and still leave tons of shit files lying around, and you're scratching your head. It's like, oh man, I cleaned out Microsoft Edge. Why is this automation still not working? That's because you didn't do it properly, right? And because you can't rely upon the error code because you're, you're using, if there's an issue, in other words, the file doesn't exist, like cache doesn't exist because you already deleted it, silently continue. So what's a really practical thing to do is verify the F files inside the cache folder, the cache data folder don't exist. Neat. And you use that, you do that by going, update a buffer, blah, 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 and then you use not F star. Now you might, you might be wondering what the hell is all this stuff about, okay? Let me start Edge and I'll show you what I'm about, okay? There it is, okay? And we go to default. Now this is, this is Microsoft Edge, okay? User data default. Go into cache, cache data, and these are all the files I'm talking about. The f my, my machine is spinning up. What the fuck is it doing? I have no idea what's making so much noise. So anyway, all right, you got your you got your browser running there. Okay, let's see what happens. So we're gonna see. Make sure the browser disappears. Make sure all of this shit disappears. Okay. So do an F6, run it, browser, shot in the head, file's gone. You saw that? There's no cache folder in here now. No cache. It's gone. Everything's clean as a whistle. This little check. Verification was successful. Expected value was blah, blah, blah. Does not exist. Exclamation mark F underscore. One, two, three, four, five. That's what those files are called. And the given file does not exist, so it passed. So basically, um, that's it in a nutshell. Now, what do we all do when we have verified our work actually works? We go to the work state, and we set, we go from in work into completed. But before we do that, you see here, this little thing here, that's going to change. In work to completed. Maybe, maybe, maybe before you change it to completed, you review it with a more competent colleague. Um, you should always do peer review as part of your automation. 
but that's basically it in a nutshell. Um, I already have it, I have it in my utils. I would I would now move that into a library so other people could use it because it's just kind of in my folder now. But I'd move that into a higher level library and then I would email the entire automation team and say, hey guys, uh, we now have a well-designed, reliable way of purging everything inside uh, the Edge browser. Okay? And then get everybody to start using that. So that's it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, post them below. I like reading your comments. And I'll also post a link to my Telegram group where uh, there's like over 2,000 Tosca people and they ask questions and they get good answers and, um, and so on and so forth. That's it. All right. Cheers. Bye.